Hey everybody, Ed the Impala Guy. Here's a little video uh, kind of chronicling the body work that we did to the uh, passenger side uh, quarter panel here in the rear. Uh, just a little, some video snippets of the process along the way and then uh, I'll, uh, I'll kind of update it at the end and sum it all up. Alright, so uh, here you go. Okay folks, here's the uh, first layer of body filler on the area. Uh, we'll block this out once it's cured or once it's, you know, hardened up. And uh, we'll see where we need to go from there. Uh, really shouldn't need too much. All right, the first uh, coat of filler is blocked down. Uh, you can see we've got a few low spots we gotta fill in with the second coat. And then we'll go with the uh, icing um, compound after that, the icing, uh, the real thin stuff. Anyhow, uh, then we'll sand her all up and get her primed and painted. The saga continues. All right, things are getting serious. As you can see, we've got the car masked off. Everything's set to go. We're going to do another uh, swipe of uh, wax and grease remover, and then we'll tack cloth it, and then we're going to spray it with some sandable black primer. So that'll be a good undercoat um, for the black paint. And um, one thing I do have to uh, contend with in this garage is there's a fly in here, and he is not leaving me alone. And I know the minute I put paint on this, he's going to end up in the paint. So anyhow, okay, here we are. We're primed. Uh, we're wet sanded down to 600, and now we're going to apply the first coat of base coat. And uh, we'll probably do uh, three to four coats of base coat, uh, depending on uh, how it goes. I mean, the good thing with the with the black primer is that you're not, it's almost like using a sealer. You're not having to cover white with black. So it should, uh, it should cover pretty well. And um, then we'll clear it. So it, here we are. We continue on. I'm hoping to have this painted, at least painted ba all the base coats done tonight. Then maybe uh, we'll let it dry overnight and we'll clear it tomorrow. Anyhow. Thanks for hanging in there. We've got a status update on the uh, painting and bodywork on the uh, 2008 uh, Impala Copar project car. Um, as you can see, um, well, that side's been done for a little bit. Uh, we'll go over here. And the bodywork and the paint is complete. Um, went ahead and washed the car, got all the rest of the dirt off of it, and I've been working on using a clay bar sponge on the surface contamination in preparation for buffing this car out. Uh, the paint matched really well. I'm hoping to kind of blend the, uh, the clear coat lines uh, with a buffer. If not, then I'm going to end up having to clear coat this entire um, side here, which is okay. Um, but I think the bodywork came out really well. The paint um, there's a few little imperfections in it. Uh, I never said that we were going to get a showroom paint job out of this, but the goal is to make it look halfway decent. And I'm hoping the, uh, the old buffing wheel will, uh, will help us there. Uh, the clay bar, if you've never uh, used one, um, helps get all the uh, contaminants off the, the surface of the paint. And you can actually feel the difference. The, the paint feels real silky smooth. Whereas up here where I've not done it yet, you can feel it. It's very rough. And, and it, of course, that doesn't translate to video very well. But it, um, the minute you uh, start doing uh, the clay bar routine, you'll be able to, you'll be able to know what, uh, what we're talking about. Um, let me show you what I've been using. It's Mother's Speed Clay 2.0. It looks like... This is just a little uh, turtle-like thing with a clay uh, substrate sponge on the end of it. The advantage of this versus using a clay bar is that uh, if you drop this, you can just rinse it off and reuse it. If you drop a clay bar, you have to throw the bar away. Um, so in that sense, it's, it's, um, it's pretty handy. Anyhow, uh, this will kind of end this video on the body work. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna uh, do a paint correction on this 
uh, whole car. We're going to clay bar the whole car and then we're going to uh, buff it, um, fill in the scratches, buff it, and uh, get it looking um, decent. Then uh, we've also got the steering rack. We'll be here early next week. Uh, we'll do that job. We'll get the tires put on it. And uh, guess what, folks? After that, it's done. And it's going to go on the market after a good thorough cleaning on the inside, too. So anyhow, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I'm up to 35 subscribers, which is awesome. Uh, I hope to hit 100 someday. And uh, I appreciate all the feedback and all the comments. Hit the like button or the dislike button. Let me know what you like or dislike. Um, if you have any comments or questions, I'll answer them. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.